Hi guys, so today I'm going to be talking about how to survive a concert. Dun, dun, dun. This can be for any concert, pretty much. I'm not trying to brag or anything, but I've been to quite a few concerts, I guess. Some of them not so big as others. So I think I'm at the position where I can give you guys some tips on concerts. You might be going to some free concert in your neighborhood. Who knows, but this might still help you. So yeah, I'm gonna give you some tips. There are two different categories I'm going to do, what to bring and just tips. The first thing is, this is one of the most important things because I went through this and it was horrible. If you're going to bring a purse, you don't have to bring a purse, but if you're going to, make sure it's a small purse, especially at a big venue. They don't let you in if your purse is not a certain size. It, it was a big deal. Um, I'll tell you a little story about me. I'll go get the purses. Yeah, I'll go get the purses. So I took a purse to a One Direction concert at a stadium. I knew the purses had to be small, but I didn't know they had to be this small. This was the purse I took. You might recognize this purse if you used to watch my old videos. It's not like, it probably looks bigger than it is because I have a really small head and I had all of my stuff I needed in there. And the guy was like, you can't get in with that purse. And I was like, well, pfft. so like I left that line and I went into another line and I was like, this is my purse. He won't let me in with this purse. Will you please let me in? Like, I don't have anywhere to put this. And he was like, all right, I guess so. I put it in another bag and I hid it sort of from everyone. Just snuck it in. The guy told me to. Like one of the security guards was like, sneak it in that bag. This time, I'm gonna take a purse about this size probably because this is pretty much the size you need or you can have it a little bit bigger. Just check with the venue where your concert is and see what size the purse needs to be because you might seriously not get in if your purse is too big. That's a lesson I learned. Another thing you should probably bring are sunglasses because you know, it's probably gonna be hot. It might be outside. You might have to be waiting in line in the hot sun and just sunglasses are just a good thing to have. Something else is a Sharpie. You might be trying to meet the person that you're going to see before the concert. They might be walking around without a Sharpie and if you want them to sign something then you just might want to have a Sharpie or if you have to draw something for someone with a Sharpie. Who knows what might come up. This is probably one of the most important things. Money. Sometimes you might want to bring as much as like $50 with you in case you can't get in touch with your parents that are going to pick you up and you have to take a taxi, you might have to pay them, you might need water, and the water is expensive. I'll get to that later, but the water is expensive. You'll need like 10 bucks for the water. If you want to buy some merchandise, just anything like that. You also need to bring your tickets. That would be a good idea. If you go up to the gate and they're like, can I see your ticket? And you're like, oh God, I didn't bring my ticket. And you live three hours away, yeah, it's easier than you think to forget your tickets because you're spending so much time getting all this other stuff. You forget about actually taking the tickets. Also, you want to bring your phone. I mean, no one's going to forget their phone. Everyone takes their phone everywhere, so you don't have to worry about that, but bring your phone. I'd want to make sure it's fully charged before you go. And also, you might want to take a camera because I'm going to probably film on my camera instead of on my phone because, you know, I do YouTube and, you know, I do YouTube, you're watching my video. But when you're there, please don't film the entire concert unless you really, 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 really want to. And you also, you want to bring your phone charger and maybe if you either have a car charger or a portable charger for your phone, that would be awesome. And the last thing I'm going to tell you that you'll need is water. If you don't bring a lot of water, ugh, what is my voice doing? If you're waiting outside for say three hours at a venue, and it's hot and you get thirsty, you will probably definitely get thirsty while you're waiting. And you didn't bring water, oh no. Well, there are people selling water over there, so I'll just buy some. Like, we don't need to bring our own water. Do you know how much 
the water is literally six bucks. I bought two bottles of water at my last concert and it was over $10 for two bottles of water. Is that better? Yeah, that's better. So now I'm just gonna tell you some general tips about a concert. Tip number one, I'm not gonna be numbering them, but I'm just gonna say tip number one, be early to the concert. You might not believe it, but some people don't get into certain concerts until halfway through the concert because the line is so long. And it's just good to be early, you know? It's just nice. You're just there and then you just get to wait and you're just like pumped and you're just, yeah. You don't have to worry about like, oh my God, I have five minutes to get to the concert before it starts. You don't want to do that. You just want to relax and like get pumped for the concert. I already said this earlier, but try not to film too much. I know you want to film everything to keep the memories. I've done this myself. I'll just sit there the whole time like filming them. And then when the concert's over, you're like, oh, I didn't even watch the concert. Like, I didn't even enjoy the concert because I was too busy like, oh, is this a good shot? Oh yeah. Another general tip is to make friends with the people around you. While you're waiting in line, you can start talking to someone around you or while you're sitting in your seat, maybe talk to the people sitting next to you. And it's just, it just makes it more enjoyable because you're just like, oh, hey, yeah, yeah, we can talk now. I'm not just gonna sit here awkwardly by myself. And it's just always nice to just make some new friends. Yeah, it's just a good thing. I said this earlier too. I guess I didn't remember it had this stuff on this list, but um, make sure your phone and camera is charged. I already told you that, so I'm not gonna go into that again. Another thing that's pretty important, I've never been through this, but I've heard of a lot of people that have been through this, make sure you wear comfortable shoes. If you're comfortable in heels, then go for it. But if you're not comfortable in heels and you just wanna look nice and you wanna wear heels, but you're not comfortable in them, I just wouldn't wear them. Just make sure you're comfortable in your outfit and your shoes. We'll just make sure you're just comfortable. The next couple of things are ways to avoid post-concert depression. You'll never know what it's like until you experience it. It's a weird thing, but I've found ways to avoid it. The first way, it might be hard to do, I know how hard it is to do when you're looking forward to a concert, don't make a countdown. Don't have a thing on your wall with like the days until the concert and like you're counting down every day for like a year. It makes it worse when it's over because you're like, what do I do now? I mean, you can look every now and then and be like, oh, it's this many days till a concert, cool. But I just wouldn't have something like up on my wall. I know it sounds kind of weird, but just take my word for it. Another thing is when the concert's over, make sure you have something to do after. Like you might want to go eat after, you can like watch a movie after, do something to distract you from the concert. So after the concert, you won't be like, I have nothing left to do in my life. The camera went dead, so it might be at a different angle. Here are just some more random tips I thought of. I already said this earlier, but make sure you're comfortable in your outfit you're wearing. Make sure you're not like this all the time, like pulling your bra up. If you're a girl, or you have to take your shoes off, or if you're like, oh, my bra's showing, oh, my pants are too big, then it's just, it makes everything uncomfortable. So just make sure you're wearing an outfit you're comfortable in. This is a big thing. Make sure you have a change of clothes, especially if it's far away from where you live and you can't just run home and get some more clothes. Anything could happen. Anything could happen. Anything could happen. You could spill something on yourself. You might not feel as comfortable as you thought you would be in the outfit. You might want to go change before the concert starts. And the last and most important thing out of all of these things is don't worry too much about what I've told you. Don't take it too seriously. These are just some tips to just kind of guide you if you've never been to a concert or 
if you haven't been in a while or just if you're going to a new kind of concert something like that just have fun at the concert and don't worry about them noticing you just have fun with yourself and your friends and the people around you and just have fun dancing to the music that's what the concert's for so that probably sounded really cheesy but it's true and in case any of you are wondering what concert i'm going to soon i'm going to a five seconds of summer concert august 4th in Louisville, Kentucky. So if any of you guys are going, just hit me up. I need to wrap up this video really fast. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next week. Boop.